In today's video, I'm here to teach you how you can add this, this, or this to your Facebook live stream just by using Facebook's inbuilt feature, and that is called Frame Studio. And no, you do not need OBS to do this. I made a video about this a year ago, and I've been seeing people having problems like no Facebook camera option, unable to find frames, unable to create or publish frames. Stick on till the end of this video, and I will share all the solutions to this problem as well. Let's jump right into it. What's good you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and I make videos about DJing and tech. So if you're new here and if this interests you, please consider subscribing. Adding a frame with your logo to your Facebook live stream is a great way to brand and market yourself. And it also makes your Facebook live stream look a lot more professional. And we're gonna do this using Facebook's inbuilt feature called Facebook Frame Studio. That's right, no additional tools or apps required. This process is extremely simple, but with the ever evolving changes in Facebook, the process is slightly changed in 2021 when compared to last year. Now first, let me show you how to create a frame. First, go to this Facebook for Developers website. I'll leave the link to this down in the description box. You can click on that and visit as well. Once you click on that, this page will open up. Now, click on the Create a Frame option and that will open this Manage page, where you can see your previously created frames. To create a new frame, click on the Open Frame Studio option on the top right corner and that will open the Frame Studio. Here you will see that it will say Create a Frame for Profile Pictures. But earlier, it would also give you an option to create a frame for your Facebook camera. Facebook has removed that option, but that's okay. You can still continue to create a frame and follow the steps that I will show you in this video and you will be able to use it on your live streams as well. Now, all you need to do is upload your logo here. Make sure the logo format is in PNG format with a clear background and not in JPG format. Drag and drop that here, resize it and fit according to your preference. You can also add text as well, but in the form of a PNG picture. And that's it. The preview for the same is also available here. If you don't have your logo, don't worry about it. I've already made a video about how to make your own logo. And I'll leave a link to that video down in the description box. You can click on that link and learn that as well. You can now click next and give it a name. I'm just gonna name it DB FB Live Frame 2021. You don't need to add any keywords since it's your personal frame. Now click next. Here you will see a final preview. But before you click publish, I suggest you click on this option here, which is preview on mobile. And that will send a notification to your mobile for preview. Then click publish. That will publish the effect, which you can then use for your live sessions. Click done and you can proceed further. You can create multiple frames here. Let me show you another one that I made. And this is how that looks. Now, once you click publish, all you need to do is open your phone and open Facebook. And when you open Facebook, go to your notifications and here you will see an option which will say view your frame. Click on that. And now you can see on the top right corner, the frame is visible. Now, if you want to go live with it, you can actually go live, click on that live option. And then I'm just going to change my, um, live settings to only me because I don't want to surprise my people and then if you click on start live video and that will start your live video with the newly created frame see it will remain here okay and that is how you can do it when you're done just click finish and that will end the live video and you will see that when it's ended it will remain there okay now if I don't want to save it I can just ignore it and as you can see, not just that, I can actually use that for clicking a picture or I can do a video, I can do a boomerang and many other things, but the frame will remain there on the top right. And that is how you can add your own logo or a frame to your Facebook live stream. Now, once your frame is published and if you're not able to find your frame, you can actually go back to the Frame Studio uh, website and send yourself a notification and that will make it easier for you to find your frame. Let me show you that. To send a notification, all you need to do is go back to Frame Studio and click on Manage Frames. And here, click on the frame you would like to use and then scroll down and click on the Send to your phone option. And that will send a notification to your phone. Alternatively, you can also copy this URL and send it to yourself on Messenger, which you can then click on your phone and start using it for your live streams. 
Now this is one of the easier ways to add a logo or a text to your Facebook live stream. But you can also use an app called OBS and with that you can do a lot more than just adding logos and you know just text. You can add graphical video, you can add a full screen frame and a lot more things to your live stream. If you're interested to learn that, please let me know down in the comments below and I will make a dedicated video about that as well. But if you're someone who doesn't want to go that way, using the Facebook Frame Studio is one of the easiest ways to add a frame, a logo or text to your Facebook live stream. At least for now in 2021, until Facebook removes this feature. Let's hope for the best. Now, if you don't have your logo or your text image, I've already mentioned earlier that I made a video about how to create your own logo and I'll leave a link to that down in the description box. Go ahead and click on that link and learn for yourself. Well, there you have it. That was the updated video about Facebook live stream frames for 2021. And I hope that I was able to answer all your questions from the previous video as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.